So let's start with the invoice tracker. So this actually probably the biggest of all the features in terms of uh, visuals and functionality. So every single invoice is now gonna have a, sort of a, a quick access history, letting you know um, what, uh, what the history of that uh, transaction is. So let me show you, let me open up uh, QuickBooks here and I'll go ahead and open an invoice. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, and I'll create a new invoice here for this customer and I'll select uh, any item code here. We'll make this uh, $200 and we'll go ahead and click on save. So the minute the invoice is saved, now you're gonna see a, a history button here that you can click on so that it basically opens it and it tells you exactly when the invoice was created. Now, these are things that you can look in the audit log, um, but, uh, but I actually find it uh, really cool that we know the actual original creation date, okay? Uh, then after, then when you actually uh, email it to a customer, so let me go ahead and invoice it. I'm gonna send the invoice to my email and I'm gonna click on send. Okay, so this uses the regular email, uh, email feature. I can actually now go in the history and now we have a new piece of information here that tells me, uh, you know, who was, who received, who, who the email was sent to. So the email was sent to Jose, whoever the contact person in the company is. So now I'm gonna go into my, um, into my phone here and I'm gonna go ahead and, and read or I'm gonna go ahead and view the, the email itself. Because right now, as of now, it says that it was emailed, but it doesn't say it was, it was viewed yet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on it one more time. See, it hasn't been viewed yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the email that's that's in my, I'm just basically email it to myself. So I'm gonna uh, open the email that's on my phone. So I go ahead and open the email, I viewed the email. So I just now, I just viewed the email, I viewed it on my phone. And I'm gonna click on uh, see history and notice that immediately it tells me that it was viewed. So it immediately tells me that it's viewed. There's a little question box here that's important for you to read that says invoice is viewed every time that is open, even from your sent box. So what that means is, if you go into your sent email um, and view the email that you sent to the customer, it will also say viewed. So it doesn't distinguish who viewed it. Um, if the email was viewed uh, by yourself in the sent box or if it was viewed by the customer in their inbox. So just, just be very careful about that and there's no fix for that just because just this mechanism can't, uh, can't do that. So, so that's the that's the that that uh, that tracking of when it was created, when it was viewed, when it was emailed. Now, when the customer pays you, I'm gonna go ahead and receive a payment, and I'll I'm gonna put a date here, a couple of days in the past, and I'll make this uh, $150. So I'm gonna just receive a partial payment, pretty much, and then I'm gonna click on save and close, and then um, let me just uh, let me see if that invoice. I'm not sure if that was applied. Okay, there you go. Let's do $50. I just want to make sim simplify it. And let me go ahead and apply it to the invoice because I haven't done that. And I'll put this back a couple of days and hit save and close. So now I'm going to click on see history. And you actually see that the payment was received. And it tells you the date the payment was received. Now that's the date of the document, not the date of the, the day you enter the transaction. So that's a really important piece. And notice that now it says in the top, it says partially paid. Okay. So anytime we have uh, something that's partially paid, it will say here, uh, partially paid. And then when you uh, deposit that payment, so I'm gonna go here into banking and click on make deposit. And I select uh, the payment I received and I go ahead and deposit it. I'm gonna deposit this on the eighth and then click on save and close. In the invoice history, it also tells you if it's been uh, partially deposited. So that's actually pretty cool. So I'll show you uh, partially paid, fully paid, fully deposited, partially deposited. The only thing I don't like about this is I can't click on it and go to see the deposit itself. I, I kind of, I, I, I don't like the fact that you can't do that. But I mean, it, it is a step. I mean, maybe they'll add that later on. But I mean, that this history here, it's uh, it's really neat, okay? Um, so if somebody's saying, well, you can hit uh, control H to see the, the payment, that's true. So that's, this is not new to 2019, but if you hit control H, you get the transaction history and then you can double click on the payment. And then you can also hit control H and you get the deposit history and you could click on that and get to the deposit. So there's ways to get to the deposit 
my comment was I would love to have a link here and go straight to it. That, that, to me, that would be the logical uh, thing. The other thing that I think it's missing from here, it's who did it. Like it, so it would also be pretty cool uh, you know, to know exactly which was the user that received the payment or who was the user that created the invoice or the user that, so I, I, that would be nice to have that there. You know, from, uh, from a programmer's perspective, you know, they have limited real estate. They don't want to make it confusing. They want the, the tool to be useful. So I assume that's that's why it, it looks like that. So that's that's really that's what the tool is. That, that's all it is. Uh, let me check if, if there's any questions here. Um, it says uh, partially deposit. Okay, so yeah, so it says the word partially deposit doesn't mean that you partially deposit the payment. Uh, partially deposit it means you fully deposit the partial payment. So that's uh, so that's what it is. Okay. All right, so um, so uh, and uh, somebody's asking, will it work with Outlook? Now, I I haven't tested it, so I think the the nature of the question is, you know, if I use the Outlook feature to email instead of the built-in email feature, will it work? I don't know, honestly. I I've, I haven't done that test. If if I had to guess, I would say no, that you have to use the built-in email system for it to work. I I seriously don't think that it will work with Outlook. Just the mechanism of how, how, uh, assuming that how QuickBooks knows that something was read, I assume it requires their own servers for that. So, um, so I would say it does not work with Outlook, but I haven't tested it, so I'm not 100% uh, uh, sure. So you have to use the the built-in uh, email function. 